Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So to begin off today's eye look, I'm going in and priming my eyelids with some concealer and just buffing out with a concealer brush. This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moen. And it's good just to cancel out any redness or discoloration or anything like that. To begin off this eye look, I'm going in with a transition color. I'm using a fluffy crease brush from Zoeva. This is a great shade from the Folklore Perth Travel Palette. It's a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone, so it's good just to act as, like I said, a little transition color for the next shades that we're going in with. The star of the show today is Opal, this beautiful kind of like foiled duochrome eyeshadow. I'm placing this all over my lid initially with my finger just to get the most pigmentation down. And then I'm going in with a little like flat shader brush and that same shadow I'm just placing that kind of like creating a little cut crease per se but a very soft cut crease. Then taking WA which is this beautiful kind of white shimmery shadow I'm highlighting my brow bone with that color. Next taking Wisteria from Makeup Geek on this kind of flat brush I'm going in and basically creating a little soft shadow winged eyeliner. This is going to be our initial kind of transition color for the eyeliner and I'm just mapping out the shape of the wings. It's a beautiful kind of light mauve tone so it's perfect as a little transition. Then taking a darker shadow today I'm going in with this beautiful shimmery purple shadow again from the Focalore Travel Palette. I'm going in on a precise shader brush and I'm just going in and creating a little smoky liner effect going right over top of Wisteria, just deepening up those wings. Then taking Wisteria again on that same flat brush that we used before, I'm going in and buffing out the edges of that deep shimmery purple shadow. Next I'm taking this purple liquid eyeliner from Rimmel in the shade Cool AF and I'm going in and just going over top of our wings to deepen them up a bit more. Take your time with this step guys and we've already got the initial wings mapped out so it should be a little easier for you to go in and create your more sharper wings with the eyeliner as you've already got a guide in place. Once we've finished placing the eyeliner down I'm going back in with a deeper purple shadow this time on that same precise shader brush. This is Royalty from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's a beautiful shimmery purple shadow darker than the one from the Folklore palette. I'm going in and just smoking out that winged liner initially with that precise shader brush and then I go back in with some of those previous purple tones on a pencil brush to soften the edges so it's not so harsh. And I do the same on the other eye as well. I also mixed some of the blue shadow in with the purple. It is Twerk from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette because I wanted a bit more of a bluey tone purple rather than just the purple. I really like the effect of both the blue and the purple shadows together. And like I said, just going back in with the previous purple tones on a pencil brush and smoking out the edges so there's no harsh lines. And once you've cleaned up your wings, you should have a little something like this. <laughs> Next for the fun bit, I'm going in with these little diamantes I got from Spotlight and a bit of eyelash glue. I'm placing different sizes here and there. So I'm placing the bigger ones, it's kind of haphazardly. I had a bit of like a Pinterest picture guide I was using as a bit of inspo. And I also just kind of winged it a little bit as well. So you guys can watch this video and place them in the exact same spots or you can do your own kind of thing. Then I'm taking that liquid eyeliner called Cool AF again that we used before and I'm going in and extending the inner corners a little bit more. I want to create a little bit of a cat eye and I go back in with a couple more diamantes because I just feel like I need to add a couple more. <laughs> For lashes today, I went in with the Eyelaw lashes in the style You Want It. I just felt like they really complemented this cat eye, very glam look. They weren't too full where it covered up the lids but they were full enough and dramatic enough to really kind of add a bit more drama to the look. To line my waterline today, I'm going in with a nude eye coal. I wish I had a purple eye coal. I think that would have looked absolutely gorgeous with this look. So I do recommend using a purple if you have one. But I just went in with nude today to really open up the eyes. Then I'm taking my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Topaz Twinkle and just creating a little bit of a glitter liner effect um, right up against the extended inner corner. To deepen up the bottom lash line, again I'm going in with Royalty and Twerk on a precise shader brush and deepening up the lash line area. And I'm also extending that out towards the inner corner of the eye. 
I love this effect it really creates a bigger eye shape and it highlights that kind of glitter liner that we've put on our inner corner there I'm also extending out the outer corner of the eye as well as you guys can see take your time with this step I am using an egg show lip brush to create this effect so I wanted a really thin line initially and then I go back in with a Morphe uh, precise shader brush is it I think I'll leave it down below a Morphe brush and I'm just going in and smoking out that liner a bit more so it's not just a thin line it's a bit more smoky then to fill in that gap between the lid and the bottom lash line I'm going in with Sissy from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette on a precise shader brush and just filling in that gap I wanted something that was had a little bit of color to it but wasn't too dramatic that took away from the purple then I'm taking this beautiful kind of, uh, what would you call this, magenta pink shadow from the Chi Chi Pride palette. I'm going in on a, an Eeg Show pencil brush and smoking out the very bottom part of the lash line. Just a little bit. Then to finish off the look, I'm going in with a couple more Diamantes. So I put three on the outer corner and one on the inner corner, a very tiny little one. I really love how it complemented the look. And of course, go in with your bottom lash mascara to top it all off. And that should complete today's eye look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I love, love, love how it turned out. If you have any requests for other videos or other looks you'd like me to create, please let me know. I really love this look to begin off the year. I have been a bit slack lately with posting, so I'm sorry about that. But I thought I'd come back with a bang and create this very dramatic look i'm beginning off the year how i want to continue it very glam very full very fun <laughs> but yeah let me know what you guys think of the look i love you all so much thank you for watching and i'll see you very very soon Mwah. hope you all had a very safe and happy new year i'll see you soon guys bye